had the most puzzling reaction to Jason Collins' announcement of being gay? Did you see Dwight Howard do the most Dwight Howardist thing ever? And we will show you why taking a selfie is never a good idea. All that and more on this episode of Ride the Pine. <laughs> This week kicked off with a major announcement as NBA veteran Jason Collins announced that he was gay, becoming the first openly active gay athlete in any of the four major American sports. Now, Collins has received a tremendous amount of support from teammates and other athletes, ranging from President Obama, who said that, quote, he couldn't be prouder, to former President Bill Clinton, who said, quote, great, more poontang for me. End quote. Now, reaction to Collins' announcement has been one of the lingering stories throughout the week. And one of the most bizarre reactions was from Atlanta Falcons DB, take that any way you want, Asante Samuel, whose quote was read on ESPN while he was being interviewed by Chris McKendry. Straight people are not announcing they're straight, so why does everybody have to announce their sexuality or whatever? You know, what they prefer, so that's just how I see it. That's my opinion on things. All respect, you know, I have nothing but respect for the people, whoever decisions they make and whatever, but you know, you don't have to show it and flaunt it like that. You know what I'm saying? We have kids out here too. No, I don't know what you're saying. Actually, could we go back because I'm trying to figure out if there was a coherent thought in anything that you said. Let's go back to one of these sentences. I have nothing but respect for the people whoever decisions they make and whatever. But you know, you don't have to show it and flaunt it like that. What? Do you know what else Asante Samuel talked about during this interview? The fact that he was graduating from college. I did mention you graduated recently from college yeah. and you're going to walk on Saturday. The Tell me day. about it. The exciting day of, you know, a big, comf a big accomplishment for me and my family. Yeah. You can't make this stuff up. And the school that is going to be giving Asante Samuel a diploma should take it upon themselves to shut down. The Los Angeles Lakers were swept out of the playoffs and Dwight Howard most likely played his last game in a Lakers uniform. And he did it in some epic fashion, pulling off what was the most Dwight Howardist thing that Dwight Howard could do. He got ejected in the third quarter after picking up his second technical foul for talking back to a referee. And then, as he was leaving the court, he walks by his GM, Mitch Kupchak, and what does he do? He yells at him. Behind his back, of course. Hey, Jack Nicholson, what did you think of this season? Meh. Meh. Let this be a lesson for anyone who thinks taking a selfie is cool. Because the next time you try it, you may almost get hit in the dome with a baseball. And where did you get that picture from? <laughs> Can someone explain to me why Aaron Andrews is in the background of this QVC show that's trying to sell a workout video? Because you never put baby in the corner. New York Jets quarterback Mark Sanchez was sporting a brand new look with a very thin green headband in his hair while he was getting interviewed by some media today. Now, Sanchez responded saying that he was channeling his inner soccer player and that's the reason for the headband, which is totally unfair for soccer players out there because none of them have actually run into their own player's ass and fumbled the football. 